Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of HHD Unit 3 Area of Study 2 Promoting Health and Wellbeing. The focus of this video will be on the Ottawa Charter as well as dot point 3 and dot point 4. The role of health promotion in improving population health focusing on one of smoking, road safety or skin cancer including why it was or is targeted, the effectiveness of the health promotion in improving population health, and how the health promotion reflects the action areas of the Ottawa Charter for health promotion, and initiatives introduced to bring about improvements in Indigenous health and wellbeing in Australia, and how they reflect the action areas of the Ottawa Charter for health promotion. The Ottawa Charter for Health Promotion The Ottawa Charter for Health Promotion is an approach to health developed by the WHO which attempts to reduce inequalities in health. The WHO defines health promotion as the act of enabling people to increase control over and to improve their health. There are three building blocks of the Ottawa Charter and these are advocate, enable and mediate. Advocate involves showing active support and initiative for health promotion, lobbying governments, health sector groups to improve access to healthcare and better healthcare services. Enable involves creating supportive environments by providing access to knowledge and fostering skills, which enables people to reach their fullest health potential and ensures equal access to resources to overcome barriers to equal health. And mediate involves helping people resolve conflict and produce outcomes that promote health. It's coordinated from the government, non-government, health sector, food and sport industries, media and community organisations. The Ottawa Charter Five Action Areas I would recommend that everybody familiarises themselves with the acronym Bad Cats Smell Dead Rats in order to remember the five action areas. Build healthy public policy. These are decisions made by the government in relation to legislation. For example, removing GST on healthy foods and increasing GST on alcohol and cigarettes. Create supportive environments, an environment that promotes health by being safe, stimulating, satisfying and enjoyable. For example, shaded areas in schools to reduce the rate of UV exposure. And the Quitline Support Service, which provides a free phone service to assist people who want to quit smoking. Strengthen community action. All parts of the community working together to achieve better health outcomes. Develop personal skills. Achieving health gains in health literacy and generating personal skills to educate and equip people. For example, detailed informative brochures in medical centres. Reorient health services. Promote health and healthy choices. For example, the police can visit schools to discuss the dangers of drink driving and promote road safety rather than waiting for the road toll to increase before taking action. And rather than just treating illness, doctors should educate patients about the underlying causes of disease and provide advice on how they should modify their lifestyle habits. Indigenous Health and Wellbeing in Australia. I've included three tips that I would recommend when approaching a case study. The first thing is to look for cultural appropriateness. The second thing is to look for how it promotes education. And the third thing is how it will impact health and wellbeing and human development. So the Aboriginal quit line is aimed at the prevention of smoking, catering specifically to Indigenous Australians. 
It has people who know the language and understand the culture on the lines. Now, looking at the action areas of the Ottawa Charter, in terms of creating supportive environments, it is supportive for those who want to quit. In relation to strengthening community action, people from the community are able to partake in the program. And for developing personal skills, it provides information and strategies to callers who want to quit. So they're well equipped and educated in that respect. We then have the Aboriginal Road to Good Health. It is aimed at the prevention of diabetes and other chronic conditions. It does this through the promotion of healthy lifestyles through encouraging healthier food choices. In relation to the action areas of the Ottawa Charter, for create a supportive environment, we've got organisers group sessions to encourage healthier habits. So often people are more likely to participate in something if it is in a group setting rather than one-on-one. Strengthen community action. The Victorian Aboriginal Health Service has a six-week program for communities aimed at preventing type 2 diabetes. Develop personal skills. Individuals are taught skills such as reading nutrition labels, getting active and staying on track to maintain healthy habits. And in terms of reorient health services, the program encourages doctors to teach their patients about heart disease and how to prevent it. I will be focusing on road safety in this video. However, the study design does stipulate that it can be smoking, road safety or skin cancer. So if your school has chosen to do road safety keep watching otherwise feel free to click out of this video as this will not apply to you road safety why is it targeted road safety is a preventable risk factor for deaths and injuries on the road making health promotion possible road safety affects vulnerable population groups disproportionately including males Indigenous Australians and Australians living outside major cities. Effectiveness of the health promotion in improving population health. There has been a significant decline in road deaths and there have been improvements in the safety of roads, vehicles and drivers. How health promotion reflects the action areas of the Ottawa Charter. This is in relation to the Transport Accident Commission. For Build Healthy Public Policy, we've got the TAC works with Victoria Police and Vic Roads to change road laws. Create supportive environments. Works towards putting safety barriers on roads to create a safe physical environment. Strengthen community action. The TAC encourages different organisations to work together with communities to improve road safety. For example, the SES Driver Reviver Program. That is a really good program, so I do recommend looking into that for more knowledge. Develop personal skills. Colloquial health promotion messages which are intended to educate Australians on the different risk factors for road accidents in a way which is relatable to them. And reorient health services. The TAC provides seminars to ambulance officers to raise awareness about road-related risks such as fatigue. That concludes this video. I hope that your knowledge of the Ottawa Charter and dot points three and four have been consolidated. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or send me an email. Thank you.